Jonathan, yes, Donald Trump has left the building. The protesters also gone now. They had lined up here outside Cobo Center. They're promising to return, though, when the Republican presidential nominee comes back to Metro Detroit. As Donald Trump spoke inside Cobo Center, protesters outside were making their voices heard. I'm out here to uh, demonstrate against the racism and neo-fascism of uh, Donald Trump. I think that uh, he represents a danger uh, to the United States and indeed the world. Several hundred people turning out, many carrying signs representing labor, including the UAW and AFSCME unions, as well as the Hillary Clinton campaign, organized opposition to the Republican presidential nominee's visit. If we don't get out and vote, we may be stuck with the Donald Trump. And while people hear, oh, I'm going to bring jobs, what is a job that's not paying you a living wage? People are out here working two jobs, trying to make a living and still struggling. One man wearing a homemade Trump t-shirt and carrying the Confederate flag was handcuffed by Detroit police after being pulled out of the crowd following a minor skirmish. He was not arrested. More than a dozen people who interrupted Trump's speech were removed from the building by Secret Service, including former state representative Rashida Tlaib, who is speaking out about Trump's views on women in the workplace. We understand this is politics and so forth, and people are screaming and booing at us, but boo to them for allowing their daughters to sit there and listen to a man that says it's okay for her to be victimized, for her to be targeted in the workplace. We don't deserve hostile workplace. Rashida Tlaib, very emotional about uh, her experience inside Cobo Center today, says she's starting a group, Moms Against Trump. She feels that strongly about this candidate in the presidential sweepstakes. We are live outside Cobo Center. I'm Dave Llewellyn reporting for the Now Detroit. Heather? All right, thank you, Dave. Hillary Clinton